In this step, we'll learn about unwrapping and texturing. First, we'll go over the unwrap and texture settings, how to choose an unwrap style, poly count versus texture resolution, utilizing the texture reprojection tool, and exporting the final model. Texturing will use the color information from the images and project the data onto the surface of the mesh. This is where we left off our model in the previous tutorial. We have a solid mesh and will now start creating the UVs. A UV map is the flat representation of a surface of a 3D model. We use the 2D coordinate from the image and project it to the 3D coordinate of the model. The process of creating a UV map is called UV unwrapping. To generate UVs for the model, go to the reconstruction ribbon and click unwrap. From the unwrap tool window, and set the large triangle removal to 1000. This will ensure that all triangles can be projected on. Select the style as fixed texel size. For a model where we want to generate orthographic images, we use this style to be able to determine a fixed resolution. In this method, we don't specify how many textures you want. The software will calculate this based on the target resolution. We set the target resolution from the texel size field. Common texel sizes for unwrapping could be two millimeters, four millimeters, or one centimeter. To manually set the texel size, select custom from the drop down menu, then enter the desired number. Here we are going for two millimeters or 0 0.002. A texel represents a single unit of measurement in texture space in real world scale. A texel is not a pixel. The pixel equivalent will depend on the size of your texture map. We will set the maximum texture resolution at 8K. Next, we'll click Unwrap. When the unwrapping is done, let's select the model and rename it to Model 2 Millimeters. Before texturing, let's check our input settings. We use the photogrammetric data for texturing. If the LiDAR data has color as well, it can be used to texture the mesh, but the quality of the imagery is generally not good enough. Let's select the scan component, go to the alignment ribbon, and select Camera Lasso. Select all the inputs and make sure the texturing and coloring is disabled. Then select the PEX, or the exterior terrestrial images. Select all the inputs with the camera lasso to make sure texturing and coloring is enabled. Let's do the same thing for the interior terrestrial images by selecting the pin master component and as well for the aerial master component. Make sure the texturing and coloring is enabled for both of these. Then select Texture from Reconstruction. Now I want to show you the Texture Reprojection tool. With this tool, it's possible to transfer the texture information from one model to another. We use this tool to create different resolution models for animations, game engines, or web applications. Let's create a model that we can use for animations. While the Master 2mm model is selected, click the Simplify tool from the Reconstruction ribbon. Change the color reprojection to Disable. We're going to simplify the model in 50% increments. Change the target triangle count to 20 million, then simplify. We're going to do this two more times until we reach 5 million polygons. Now that we have our 5 million polygon model, we'll need to unwrap the model. Click Unwrap from the Reconstruction ribbon. For this model, we're going to use the Maximal Texture Count method to be able to limit the number of textures. Select the maximum texture count for the, from the style and set the texture count to 8. Click Unwrap. Now select the texture reprojection from the reconstruction ribbon. For this tool, we need a source model and a result target model. Set the source model to master 2mm model and set the result to the animation model. And click Reproject. The reprojection is complete. You'll notice it went much faster than the initial texturing. Now let's export this model as an FBX in OBJ. To export a model, click Export from the Reconstruction ribbon. From the pop-up, make sure to save type as OBJ and select the folder and give it a name and click Save. This will bring up a pop-up menu setting. Let's change the title to UV. Make sure that you have your textures turned on or enabled and click on OK. Click Export again and select FBX and save it as a different file type. Select your target folder, 
give it a name and click Save. This will bring up a pop-up menu setting. From the XVX, make sure the embedded textures is Yes and the tile to UV. You may also choose your image type, how each of the texture maps is stored. Click OK to export. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about creating orthographic images from our master model.